guys, it's me Delicious here and today I will be doing another video from the chocolate family series. Now today I will be painting on some rocks and I'm starting off with a nice thick layer of white paint and the reason it must be thick is that if it isn't thick it won't stick to the rock properly and it has to be thick to stick to the rock. Yeah and now I'm going uh, with multiple coats of white on each rock and I decided to do multiple rocks because if one of them is drying the neck I can paint on the next one which is already done. And yeah, here I made more and more coats of white on each of the rocks. And hmm. Oh yeah. This small rock I'll paint it also on white because every rock needs to have a base layer. Yeah. Coming up uh we'll paint this small rock yellow and because i have a plan in mind for that and i will also paint one red so yeah next up i will be uh, still painting more coats of white on every and each rock hmm now I'm starting off with that tiny special rock which I will be painting on but I'll be painting that yellow. I have a special special plan for you. And once it's done drying, I think I'll draw two bananas on it but I'm not sure how it'll come out I hope it'll come out nice and neat I'm finishing off the yellow coat finishing off the last details and yeah more and more coats of white more and more white paint on rocks yeah here my cat came so yeah she smelled my rocks <laughs> and it was funny Hmm. Next, I will be painting that rock red because I'm thinking I could draw a tomato on it. And I thought I'd just do the outline and the whole rock will be red. And if I only do the outline, I thought it'll look cute. Finishing, I'm finishing here the red coat going on with more and more red paint and here's where my fingers got quite messy and yeah that's gonna be it for the red rock now I'm going on with the yellow rock and I with a black marker with a black thin marker I am going to trace on it the outline of uh, two bananas and 
as I was drawing, I noticed it wasn't going to come out as nice I was thinking. So I decided rock painting is not my thing. So I opened my sketchbook. Here's my last drawing. Did you notice it? If you didn't know about it, I leave the link in the description to my last video from the chocolate fountain series. And I start and here in my sketchbook, I started drawing uh, a chocolate bar, which was hopefully going to look really nice. Here I started doing the outline and with a little more detail so that it was supposed to be like a, a tore open chocolate. I checked to see the last drawing and here and here we get out the pencils and pick out some shades of brown to color in the chocolate now with the lighter shade i decided to fill in the small rectangles of chocolate i was searching for another uh, shade but i didn't seem to have any other shade of brown that was looking promising so i decided to use that one well, that light one didn't come out as great as I expected. It came out so orangey and not the. It was not the best cho best chocolate color, and yeah, here I was doing the, uh, the other part of the chocolate with the darker brown. But here you can see the real color. And it was so light, so orangey, it, it just didn't match my drawing. Even though I decided I could um, fill, it, fill them in and then I would just watercolor it on. Because I didn't see how worse it was getting. From second to second, it's getting worse. Yeah, um, and here I'm filling in the last rectangles of the chocolate, which, yeah, here I actually saw how light that brown shade, that shade of brown was and started to regret my decision to color it in with that shade i mean it would have been 10 times better probably if i if i had used the other shade of brown or basically any other shade of brown in my house <laughs> and finishing off the last bit of chocolate hmm here yeah you see the difference now the darker brown is the definitely a better option for chocolate color the lighter brown mm, i don't know what to say about it it just doesn't fit but i filled it in anyway even though i knew i was going to make another layer of something not necessarily um watercolor but i knew it wasn't going to come off as i wanted and i had to improve it because i couldn't just leave it there like that i mean you see it it's definitely not what you would define as chocolate i finished the the whole chocolate part 
and then I moved on to uh, the package which was going to be red on the sides and white in the middle and in the middle I would also have choco right on it like chocolate but it was tore open so you couldn't see the whole world so yeah that was the idea yes now i'm moving on to the package which is a nice part i'm choosing a nice shade of red and i chose that pencil to help me draw the outline of the chocolate package <laughs> And I started filling in that space, that blank space and giving life to my nice chocolate. As I, would, I, as I was doing this, I was searching for uh, a better option for the chocolate because you see how those colors don't go. And I came up with those, that I, this idea that I just watercolor on it and I didn't, I wasn't quite sure that that thing would work, but I still tried it and I didn't regret it. I mean, it was definitely better filling in the the rest of this blank space and yeah tracing on and now we we're getting out the watercolor and uh, before that I must put a piece of scrap paper so that I'm sure it doesn't bleed through and damage the other drawing which I like very much here I have a shade of brown which does look nice and yeah if it doesn't look that nice to you I promise it's going to look better when it's dry Filling in those rectangles of chocolate. And here I am preparing and getting out the other shade of brown. And at first it might look like vomit green. Yeah. Or brown but it it will definitely look better at in the end I checked to see if it will, if it did bleed through and to just to be sure even though it didn't bleed through I checked the other drawing too I continued painting on that even though it did not look that nice to me here it just got worse but apparently at the end it did look nice here i'm mixing in some red and applying it on the chocolate package i am making the outline and then filling in here i uh, started doing the uh, outline to the other parts the other red parts of the package as usually i'm doing the outline and then filling in 
and then the other lines. And here was when a stain happened somehow. Just wait, wait for it. Oh no. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the small. I mean, not. It's not small. That's the problem. And then it didn't look good. I tried to cover it by a writing choco with a pinkish violet. Yeah. But it didn't quite work as expected. Yeah, it's that that stain. It was looking at me like, oh yeah, yeah, you did me, and you ruined the drawing. Here is the most fun part. Where I started trying to do some um, rainbow drops along the uh, sheet of paper. And I tried to do a nice smooth blending. And even though at some colors it didn't quite come out, mo uh, mostly I liked it. And it, it did come out nicely. And here I'm doing the drips, the first drips, the red and yellow, no, no, not red, red and orange. And blending. Somehow that came out so nice. To me, that was the best part of a drawing, and still is. And I'm, I'm kind of sorry that I didn't really post lots at this time of the year, but I was really busy with different stuff, and I didn't have much time for that. Next up comes the green. I tried to blend it as neatly as possible, even though I'm not sure that it came out good. Enough? Yeah, and here I'm moving on to the light blue, which is like cyan, but bluish cyan, mixed with a little green. Here I will be moving on to the darker blue, which, yeah, here my cat just came and was stepping on my painting and I tried to paint between her paws but she was just stepping and getting paint all over her paws and yeah it was really funny especially when she came again yeah By the way, um, that chocolate color did, didn't turn out quite at my expectations, but it was fine for me. The last blending is here. And here my cat comes and again steps in my painting. 
and gets paint all over her paw. And now I'm checking for any possible bleeding happening and doing the final touches to the chocolate. And yeah. Here my cat came again to smell and walk on my painting. <laughs> and this is how I finish painting with my cat. Just staying there like an accident waiting to happen. Well, uh, this was the final result. Thank you really much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share or subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.